Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ben from Rook Films, and this is what we're going to be creating today. So we got some really cool effects going on, all made from scratch, to create this really stylistic logo animation. Um, we have two comps mainly because we pre-composed here earlier. Um, I'm gonna go through all this, but basically we have some lights. We got, let me turn on my uh, layer controls really quick for you guys. So we got some lights, we got some movement coming across, showing the effect. We have some alpha mats going on, or uh, some, not alpha mats, what am I saying? Some stencil alphas going on some really cool effects here we got some birds flying in um, all within the core of this text now you guys can choose whatever you want I just did RF for Rook films and I put birds behind it obviously because the logo because of my original logo um, and a rook is a crow, so that's why you hear the kind of crow sound effects and the birds flapping in the background. We got some nice fog going on here. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is really cool. This took me a few hours to work on uh, to get it all correct and what I wanted. Should take way less this time around because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but let's get right into it. Okay, great. So once you're ready to start, go ahead and open up a new project and then just go ahead and click on new composition. Name this accordingly. I'm just going to name this uh, RF logo animation. Of course, that you can tailor this name to your own needs. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and then I'm going to bring in my project folder. It has everything I need in it. Let me know if you guys want a download link to this in the description if you want to follow along. If not, just watch, sit back, and enjoy. But I'm going to leave this alone for right now, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new text layer by hitting Control T. That brings up my uh, text tool. I'm going to go ahead and type RF. Now I use this quantum font. You can use whatever qu uh, font quant uh, font you want. Blah, 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 that was a mouthful. Um, you can use whatever font you want, but this one I just thought was really cool. I got this from defonts.com. They have a, um, a lot of really cool fonts, all compatible with Adobe products. So definitely check them out if you guys want to. It, everything's free, free downloads. So this is just one that I thought was super cool. So I brought this one in. Um, I'm going to scale this up probably to around three, 360. It's about good. Go to the align tab and align this baby up. Okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to bring in some fog. So let's go to our fog. Let's bring this in. We'll change the transfer mode to screen so that it blends. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our text layer and switch the transfer mode to stencil alpha. This is going to make it so that the fog wraps around the core of our text layer. Now you can do this with a pretty pretty much about any picture or logo. I'm just doing this with this text layer so it works perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and rename this to fog just for organization. And then now we have some some pretty cool some pretty cool look right now already. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my birds. I'm going to put them just above the fog. I'm going to re rename this birds. And then as you can see, probably what you're thinking right now is this is a very low resolution video, but that's okay because for all intents and purposes, we are only going to need the birds to start about right here. We're not going to need to scale this up real big. So that's going to be perfect. So go over to your effects and presets panel and type in key and then just bring in key light 1.2, drop it over your birds file, and then just go to the screen color, 
and click the green. And now it's completely edited out. And then when we scrub through the timeline, we can see that the birds start to appear like so. So that's looking cool, but this is too long. I don't want this to go for 10 seconds long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on birds. I'm gonna go to time, wherever that's at, time. I'm gonna go to time stretch. We're gonna make this 35 stretch factor. I believe that's what I did last time. Could be wrong, maybe it was 45. Let me try 45. All right, 45 looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub through this and make sure I start this thing when the birds actually come out. Actually, I guess it's fine how it is because we'll, we'll end up editing this later. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this just so that the dirt, the, 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 the dirts, the, uh, the birds become a little bit darker. I'll select both of the layers, maybe scale it up just a tad bit. Move it over as well. All right, cool. And then what I'll do is I'll probably duplicate this layer as well. Maybe scale this one up. And I'll even rotate it. Well, no, I'm not going to rotate. I'm just going to grab the edge and flip it around the opposite way. And then maybe rotate it a little bit towards the center. So we got birds coming from the other side. Now, I'm, I am going to scale this up accordingly. Maybe switch our resolution. Re no, 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 no. I can't talk today, guys. Resolution to half. And then we can see what we what we got going on here which is already looking fairly decent. I like the way this is looking so far. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and grab all of these layers. Go ahead and right click and hit pre-compose. And make sure to say, make sure to check the move all attributes in the new composition. And we'll just go ahead and name this main. I can't really think of a better uh, name for this. It's just like your main composition. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and bring in more fog, place it on top of the main layer, and then just go ahead and switch this to screen. And then what we'll do is we'll just turn down the opacity. Actually, I think what I did originally was I had this opacity all the way up. And then I keyframed it to come down after a few seconds. So I think it was like maybe like two seconds. I just brought it down a little bit. And you can just easy ease those. And I'll show you why I did this in a little bit, but name this to fog. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a light. So I'll just go layer new light. We'll just name this spotlight. You know, make it a spot. Choose whatever color you want. I chose this lighter blue. And then you can play with the intensity. But make sure you have cast shadows on. And we'll go ahead and click OK. We'll just zoom this out with our Z axis. And then as you can see, if we move this down a little bit, it's illuminating our logo. So as you brush past it, it's illuminating. So I'll show you what I so I will show you what I did. So basically open up your transform settings. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe point of interest and position. Now remember, if you do not keyframe the point of interest, you will end up with a weird thing. I don't even understand why it does the things that it does, but it was weird. So we're just gonna move forward to about five seconds. And we're gonna move it all the way in front of the logo. We might even move this back a little bit. And then we're gonna leave some hang time. Leaving a lot of hang time. Then we're gonna click these again. So basically it's doing nothing 
in between this section. It's just sitting there. And then over to about 11 seconds, we are going to shoot this off to the left until it's gone. And then we will easy use all these. And I will start to render this. And we've already pretty much come up with what we want. So now I think you guys can see what the meaning behind this fog layer is for the opacity. So as the fog layer is coming down and this um, light is coming across, it almost seems as though the fog is leaving and the logo is coming in front of the fog because the fog's opacity is going down. So just a little tip there. Um, I might even bring this fog opacity out just a little bit more. There we go. Just to kind of match what's going on with the actual light. So we see that the birds shut off rather fast. So let's go back into our main comp and we'll select all the bird layers and then go up to effects and presets. Just type in fade and then click on fade and out of frame. Just double click it. You can turn off the fade in duration, but we want to switch the fade out direction to about 35. Now when we go back into our main comp, we'll see the birds just slowly disappear. And that looks a lot better. Okay, I also want to go into the spotlight settings, light options, and I want to turn up the intensity because it's very dark in this scene. I don't really like that. So we'll put up to about 159. You can adjust the cone angle if you want. I'm not going to mess with that right now. But that is pretty much all. And then what I'll do is I'll go to fog and I'll type in VC color vibrance. Now, if you don't have this, it's a free plugin from videocopilot.net. I'll have a link in the description. Very easy download. It's completely free and it will save you a lot of time. It's a very good plugin. I recommend it 100%. So we'll just drop that onto fog. Now you can use a change to color plugin, but it just, it doesn't work very well and it takes a lot of tweaking. VC Color Vibrance works very quickly and, and I just, I like it a lot better. So you can really make this whatever color you want. I'm gonna try to go to the blues, maybe to the blue-ish side. And you can really make it however you want it, but I'm going to try to match as best as I can the layer that's in front of me. So that looks pretty good. Let me just watch this over again. Okay, I know it's blurry. Bear with me. Okay. I do like that liking the way it looks. So basically what I did was at about five seconds, I think it was, we can click U, that'll bring up all of our keyframes. Key and I think as soon as this stops, I went into the light settings, or the light options, and I just keyframed the color. So I keyframed the color to turn to a white, and I gave it a little bit, Little, little bit of time to change. So I'll switch it to a white. So it changes like so. Man, I really gotta turn up my intensity. I'm not really feeling this right now. Okay, that's a lot better. Now it'll just kind of move into the white phase. We'll go ahead and easy ease these. Move this out a little bit. And then what I did was I made a new text layer named RF, I made it 3D, and then I just scaled it up a bunch. And just tried to match it the best I could. 
This might need to be scaled down just a tad. I think it was like three. Maybe. Okay, yeah, that looks good. And then what you'll do is you'll move this to the point where you, where you actually want it to fade in. And then you'll just go to effects and presets, type in fade once again, fade in and out of frames, and then maybe make the duration 40. You can turn off fade out duration. Um, and now we'll kind of see, I'm gonna turn it to thirds just so that I can render this. Let me move that out of the way. Okay, no, that's not what I want. This needs to fade in quicker. So it's green, transfers to blue, and then I'm gonna to need to go into my spotlight settings and move this further further away. Because it's happening too quickly. We wanna give it time. Uh, I know I'm just kind of tweaking here. I'm not talking very much, but this is just kind of what you gotta do. So, what I did was right as it's kind of turning white, I put a keyframe on the opacity and then I just moved over a little bit and then turned it all the way off. And then I really got to move this thing out of the way. Oh my gosh, it's actually really annoying me. I want to give it time, you know? I want to give it time to kind of show itself. I can even move this maybe closer, move that out further. And then it's just gonna fade off. So right now, I'm trying to think because we almost have everything completed. So we have, let me just ram preview this. Okay, we got the fog, we have the logo that's slowly coming in with the birds. Okay, birds fade out, changes to white, changes to the solid as the fog goes away, and then the wipe. Okay, cool. So if you've gone up to this point, you've done pretty much everything. The only thing that is left to do is sound effects. So I have a few sound effects here. I have a this dark music. I have a crow sound, and then I had some birds' wings flapping. I also had another forest like sound effect. I'm not sure where that went. Maybe I can look in my downloads and see if I have it here. Yeah, wood forest sounds. So I'll kind of show you what these sound effects are like. Again, if you want these downloads, just ask and I will put up a link for it. But this is kind of what it sounds like. So I had that in the background. I also used these birds wings flapping. I used that, I used the crow sound. I used that and then I also found this like dark music. It was actually pretty cool. And you'll hear all of this when you listen to it again, but those are the sound effects. Again, if you want them, you can do them, but I'm, again, I don't think anyone will need this download because if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to make this effect for your own logo and you wanna add your own twist onto it. So I don't want to prevent you from doing that. So I'm gonna save you the headache. I'm not gonna go ahead and put the sound effects in, but yeah, guys, this is the tutorial. This is pretty much all you need to do. Pretty much, it's pretty easy. We got the uh, two comp layers, 
And yeah, so this is your stylistic logo effect. Very simple, no at least paid plugins. I know we use the VC Color Vibrance, but it's not really anything you need to go searching for. So uh, once again, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, please subscribe and uh, like the video as well. Turn on those post notifications. Uh, we will have more videos coming out very soon in the near future. But uh, thank you for watching. My name is Ben from Rook Films, and I will see you guys in the next one.